Are you ready to make PowerPoint move? Today we'll transform this dull static timeline into a captivating visual experience using the morph transition. While our example focuses on space exploration, remember that this method is universally applicable. So buckle up and let's dive in. First, let's set the vibe with a cool light gray background. Now, let's bring some cosmic vibes to our timeline section. Head over to unsplash.com and snag a perfect space picture. This one's my personal favorite. Hey Gary Scott, big thanks coming your way. Thank you. No need to download it, just right click and snatch it. Paste it into the presentation, shift it to the left, and give it a little crop. And to add some extra flair, let's draw a rectangle. Make it black. Set transparency to 50 and ditch the outline. Next up, let's tackle the slider. Add a rectangle for the canvas and paint it white. Now throw in a smaller rectangle for that perfect slider look. Great, slider achieved. Now duplicate the colored rectangle. To achieve that, drag it while pressing Ctrl and Shift. If you're on a Mac, hold Command and Shift. Type the first year. Remove the fill. And align it to the left and middle. Time to add some font magic. We're going for the Orbitron font to give it that spacey vibe. It's a Google font and it's free. You can grab it on fonts.google.com. Let's go back to PowerPoint. Let's make the text a bit bigger. We've got five years in this timeline, so let's duplicate the text four times. Drag it while holding Control and Shift. Select them all and let's distribute them vertically for that neat look. Now group the years in the slider and align them right in the middle. Let's ungroup and edit the years. Feel free to create as many timeline points as your heart desires using this handy technique. And for those looking for a shortcut, templates for up to 8 points are available for download. Just check out the link in the description. Let's make the active year pop. It's the star of the show. For the inactive years, apply a dash of transparency. Let them gracefully fade into the background. Now let's make it move. Duplicate the slide. Hold shift and drag the slider down to align it with the second year. Select the first year and copy the format to the second year. Then, fade down the first year. Now jump into the transition tab and apply the morph transition. Set the transition duration to one and a half seconds. Let's preview it. All right, it's working. You're officially a PowerPoint magician. Now duplicate the slide and let's keep the timeline rolling. While I'm fine tuning the remaining slides, let me share something exciting with you. Tutorials are great, but if you're hungry for in-depth morph mastery, my online course is where you want to be. For the cost of a few cups of coffee, you will get instant access to 23 bite-sized video lessons with two and a half hours of class content. On top of that, you will get a bunch of valuable bonuses, including premium presentation templates, over 2,000 vector icons, various device mockups, and the library of editable graphic elements. Follow the link in the description, enroll today, and become a PowerPoint rock star tomorrow. Excellent. The timeline section is good to go. It's time to add some juicy content. Each slide will have a universal layout, one image with a headline and a body text. I'll grab some text right from the wiki. Big thanks to all wiki contributors. For the headline, let's keep a spacey vibe by using the Orbitron font. Let's make it bigger. The headline is ready to go. Let's bring a body text. For the body text, let's switch to the Lido font, another free gem from Google Fonts. Let's set the body text to a dark gray color to create a clean text hierarchy. Next, add a proper image for the visual impact. To add a bit of depth, throw a shadow to the image. Let's arrange the content for a nice balanced look. Now copy the content to the next slide and let's start the creative chain reaction.
First, replace the image. Use the Change Picture option from the Context menu for a swift solution. Now edit the text. To maintain the format, select the Keep Text Only option. Let's do the same for the body text. Repeat the process for the rest of the slides. To not waste your time, I'll swiftly jump ahead with some video editing magic to where all the content is ready. And hey, it's a great time to hit that like button and subscribe. Now let's make that content dance as we transition between the slides. Select the second slide. Zoom out by holding the control key and scrolling the mouse wheel. Now let's select the content and duplicate it. For that, hold control and shift while dragging it down. Cut and paste it to the first slide. Good job. Now onto the third slide. Duplicate the content, cut and paste it to the second slide. Keep that creative momentum flowing. Repeat this process for the fourth and third slides. Again for the fifth and fourth slides. Excellent. Now we're on the fourth slide. Select the content duplicate and move it up. Cut and paste it to the next slide. Great, now select the third slide. Duplicate the content. Cut and paste it to the fourth slide. Do the same for the second and third slides. Again, for the first and second slides. Bingo, it's time to check out the result. Fantastic job. If you wanna make engaging presentations with a guaranteed wow effect, Morph is your thing. With my budget-friendly online course, you can master Morph quickly and effortlessly. Join the Morph movement today.